You know, a lot of people ask me, they're like, Triff, what's your secret, bro? Why are you so good at pendulums, bro? It's because I have a cat that loves me. I love you. I love you too, Mia. Your daddy loves you. Okay, all right. You don't love... But she doesn't love me. But wanna know who does love me? Pendulums! Because draw don't do shit! So in today's video, I'm gonna showcase you guys why pendulums don't care about Droll and why Droll is an overrated card against Pendulums. And if you don't think this is true, then you gotta stay tuned to the entire video and you're gonna witness exactly why Pendulums don't care about Droll as long as you got one of these shades. Let's go, baby! <laughs> And before we get into this amazing video on how to play through Droll, if you guys love content like this, I want you guys to do yourselves a massive favor. Check down in the description below. Starting today, starting today, the first day, baby, I'm doing live coaching on Metafi. So go check it out down below in the description. Live Yu-Gi-Oh! coaching, baby. Get it while it lasts. As you guys all know, I'm really lazy when it comes to basically everything. So it's probably not, only going to last like a month maximum. Go check it out. The first five people that sign up for coaching get 15% off. So go check out down description below if you want to get coached by the pen god and if you want to duel with the pen god. Let's go. So what do we do? We adjusted. We added magician to the list because now with magicians, we don't care about drool. So now we get drooled. We're harmonizing effect. Pen five. We don't care. We already have five monsters in the field. We removed so much draw power to ensure that we play around drool. So, this is game one. I'm facing against Pasta Freak, probably an Italian. We're playing over here. I go first. If this is game one, I'm not playing around Droll. Because in game one, you don't care about Droll. No one mains Droll. But if this is game two, what would be the first play you would do? Upstart Goblin? Like, what would you do as the first play? You abduct, scale up Doctor, activate Upstart? No. If this is game two, you scale up Doctor and you pen call right away. That way, if they Droll you, you still resolve up Doctor because of Chronograph. And you still pen a thousand and you win through droll because this is game one i'm going straight into upstart but this just goes to show the idea behind how to play around droll you can't play into getting destroyed by droll otherwise you just lose everyone knows that if you have 20 spell cards and you keep drawing into spells one droll will end your turn it's very obvious but if you start with the pen call it won't this is game one so i'm just not playing around droll whatsoever and there's different ways to play around Droll. This just so happens to be the best one. You activate your spells when you need to. There's other ways to play around it, like Dro like called by. You can play Gamma to stop the Droll on your turn. We're playing against Dragonlink Dragoonity. And, I mean, we just destroyed him there. This is game two over here, and you're going to witness a call by the grave. I'm scared of Droll. I don't care. Even if he doesn't play Droll, I'm scared of it. So we put in the called by. We have a few dead cards and Time Gazer and Knowledge. But that's fine. We're still going to destroy him. I want you guys to really stay tuned for game three, especially... All right, I think I kind of ruined it. I do end up losing game two here. <laughs> but game three, you're going to witness just how that strategy worked to play through the droll. Uh, it, it's genius, man. And you need to do it. Because if you get Ash Blossomed, you don't care. Even if you get Ash on Pen Call, you don't care. You still put up a bunch of negates. You still have Crowley. You can still draw. You can still do all these things. But if you get drolled once, your turn is over. Absolutely over. It's the equivalent of in Tri Brigade. If Tri Brigade gets hit with Contact C, their turn passes. If they get hit with the Veiler, they could still play very easily. That's why you would rather play around the Droll than play around the Ash. So here, we just got pretty unlucky here because the rest of our hands look ass. But this should have been very easy for us to defeat. Uh, we got a little unlucky. We're going to save the Called By for his seal. This is a Called By has multiple purposes. He's going to be forced to seal, bounce the poison. We Called By. And then he's going to have to, he's going to bounce our poison. That's what really uh, affected us big time. We, we The tidying hurt our, our specific hand. But that's all right. We're going to depend here. We can't use effect because you'll just negate it with Crystal Wing. And then you just had enough cards to destroy it. So game three, I want you guys to see this. I want everyone, you guys got this far. If you guys could literally pick up anything in this whole video. I want you guys to see my hand in game three. Everyone. Whether you're watching on YouTube. Whether you're watching live on Twitch. Everyone. Look at my hand. This is post side deck. What did I say in game one? What did I say in game one? I said that post side deck, if you have like an upstart or whatever, a lure, desires, whatever, any draw card, you don't start with it. 
you start with the card that helps you play around droll the absolute most pen call so the average human here would scale servant activate allure right no hell no that's the wrong play you scale servant and you pen call that's the play and i don't even get rid of souls or chrono i save souls and chrono in case he has the droll souls and chrono equals a crowley even if pen call gets ashed i'm resolving crowley for without a normal summon resolving servant my point is getting destroyed I search for pen call. Guess what happens? Guess what happens? He hits me with a droll. What did I say? Now look at my hand. Do I have any search cards? Do I have any spells? No. Because I discarded it. This is how you play around droll. By including the pendulum magicians. This ensures you have a huge floor and ensures a board through droll no matter what. This is what you need to do. You need to adapt to the meta. And the meta is droll. And that's it. What other hand trap are they gonna use against you? What other hand trap are they gonna use against you? Ghost spell? I don't give a fuck about any other card they have. I'm gonna show you the rest of his hand. He has Nibiru, Droll, and Droplets. Like, Nibiru, Droll, and Droplets. And Ravine is a one card starter for them. Ravine gets the Dragoonity monster. He's playing the Dragoonity version of Dragon Link with the free discard special. This is like the most broken hand this guy can open. Just because we did the pen call, and it's not even over. Just because of that play, we also set up a Jackal to protect everything. To protect everything. That's how insane this is. We do another big brain play here by using Breaker to pop our own Servant of Endymion to put it back in the scale because we don't have a low scale. Hence, giving us a Selene, giving us a Mighty Master, an Appalooza, and we end up with four Negates through Droll and Nibiru. So despite the fact that him having Droll and Nibiru, Nibiru is going to stick in his hand because of the Jackal, the way we set that up. And the Droll was just dead. We couldn't Crowley because he had the Droll, but that's just fine. Now, he's going to end up drawing here, and he draws Chamber Dragon Maid. So this is like the best hand he could open, but he's also aware that he needs monsters in the field. Through Droll and Nib, bro, even if he droplets, he still loses. Look at this. So if he goes Dra Chamber Dragon Maid here, if he droplets, gets rid of like Dragon Maid and two other cards in his hand, there's nothing he can do. He literally has to get rid of all cards in his hand. He needs the dragons on the field. So he cannot afford to get the dragon maid off the field. He needs to have as many monsters in the field as possible to trigger his, his Romulus. And in this deck, Romulus is key. So he gets rid of all my monsters' effects. I'm like, that's fine. I have six cards. You have two. You've opened the most broken hand Dragon Link could possibly open. And I'm still going to win. If this was normal Dragon Link, they don't even access to this play. Would you send your good the glow and search this one? This will help him destroy my field a little bit. I use Mascarena to get out access code. Like an absolute moron. This is, by the way, classic. He could have Nibiru after Daybreaker effect. Absolutely not, DQU. I had uh, uh, multiple counters on Jack. All right. I think I did at least. I mean, he couldn't. He couldn't. Anyways. So, uh, and then here, I'm going to go Mighty Master. Access code, uh, he's going to attack M Mighty Master because it has half attack by Droplet. Access code actually has 6,300 attack. Even though I'm a genius and I do a lot of cool plays, I also do a lot of stupid plays. I forgot to put four counters on access code. That's my fault completely. It should be at 6,300. Instead, it's at 4,300. But this is just game. He's going to seal, bounce my servant. I don't care. I'm just going to attack for game. He does have a, a tidying in the graveyard, which just doesn't matter because I'm going to put an extra counter on Abductor. So Mighty Master is going to be able to bounce and negate it. And just like that, we won. So literally through the droll, through the nib, through everything, the duel was over. Why? Because Droll does not, and repeat after me, Droll does not destroy Pendulums if we build the deck correctly. Now, for those who are wondering, want to see the deck list, I'm going to showcase the deck list right now. Let's go. And now this is the deck list. As you guys see, I organized this in a specific way. It's the same list I posted last time. It's just, we have to evolve. We have to adapt to the meta. Is Droll going to be in the meta next format? Probably not, because Bantan is probably getting banned. Or Eva's getting banned or something. So, but until then, we need to play around Droll. And the best way to play around Droll is with Pendulum Call and Magicians. You have Harmonizing and Pen Call, and you just discard the extra spell. That's the strategy. So, as you guys see the list, it's Triple Abductor, Mastery, Desires, Allure. Still playing a lot of draw cards, but not too many. Like, you're not playing Double Blue Boy without Double Secrets. You're not playing too many, but you're still playing a healthy amount. This still makes your Sermon Abductor resolve all the time. But this time, you actually have something to draw into. And you're playing Janky Magician because you need another level 7. 
to go cross sheep combos with mighty master so any magician level seven and the fact that it plays through winda is very important because you just pendulum summon the janky magician it can negate like any dogmatica in that matchup it can negate Makaba, and you just enter battle phase and kill so it, this matchup is also extremely extremely good for shadal and Volk dogmatica in fact like you literally never lose against that deck and it's just overall very good droll of course is a good card and, and droll is, is supposed to destroy pendulums but if we build it where it doesn't and we're aware that droll can happen and we're like oh, give droll the respect it deserves and build our deck around droll then we can still play a thousand draw cards and not lose to it uh this is the card janky magician which uh is actually 2500 attack which i think is very good classic side deck mia mia my cat is some my cat is a troublemaker mia get back here and as for the extra deck it's all you need the extra deck is all you need in there everything i see is all you need you don't need any extra xyz's any extra synchros savage and dweller are the only generic ones that you need with time star still very good to search souls it does come up a lot still playing triple Celine, and that's the deck i hope you guys enjoyed this video droll is not as good as people say droll is of course like the best hand trap you can play but if we build our deck to stop the droll with harmonizing and pen calls it's really like just not that insane so i hope you guys enjoyed this video you guys got this far i need you guys to smash the subscribe button I need you guys to also smash the like button. I want to see ASAP, baby. I want to see 50,000 subscribers. And I want to see 1,000 likes on this video. Right right now. If you guys didn't like the video already, like it right now. If you didn't subscribe already, literally just click the subscribe button. It's not that difficult. And check the links below if you want to support your boy. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!